So the method that we use in becoming genius has four stages. For any given subject, the first stage is duplication, making an exact copy of the source materials. If, for example, we're going to learn about music, well, we have to go to a book on music and then make an exact copy of that knowledge in our own minds. Or if we're going to learn about learning like we are now, you have to be able and willing also to make an exact copy of that knowledge in your own mind. But then we can talk meaningfully. Then we can have real communication. Then we can actually transfer the understanding that we have and the abilities that we have to you. And then you can exercise and learn those abilities yourself. Or I should say, teach yourself those abilities. Because that's what we're really talking about here. This is the method of self-instruction. The second stage is understanding. And I define that as systems thinking through logic. What does that mean? Systems thinking is a discipline of thought where one makes a dynamic working model of a subject in one's mind. You know, having duplicated the subject matter, then one puts it into a model, a working model, that works the same way as the thing you're studying itself. That allows you to predict the results of any action by playing with the model. This is how Einstein invented relativity. He made what's called a Gedanken experiment a thought experiment. He set up an experiment in his mind. Einstein came up with relativity without ever going into a lab. He didn't do it by experiment. He did it by thinking. He had such a perfect model of the universe and the laws of nature in his mind that, at least as far as motion and time and things like that, he was able to model them perfectly and see, well, what if? What if he did this? What if he did that? What if you have something moving near the speed of light? What would happen? What would happen to time and distance and all these other things? And he came up with relativity just by thinking about it. You can do that too. The third stage is called analysis, the contemplation of abstract relationships. So we've duplicated the subject matter. We made a model internally in our own mind. And now we're going to analyze that model and abstract the relationships among its pieces. This is an analysis of ontological relationships, and we're going to get to ontology in a minute. The fourth stage is metacognition. Metacognition is the realization of a new state of being based on the information that you have duplicated, modeled, and analyzed. Metacognition is when the light goes on. <laughs> when you finally say, oh, I got it. Huh? When your understanding transcends words and symbols and becomes a state of being. That's what it's all about. That's what we're getting at. And these four stages show you how. 